Hi, I'm Lane Flersheim. I'm a mentor for Girls Right Now, and my mentee Shreya Pandit and I are in the website editorial pod. Um, I'm a journalist, and she's interested in journalism. So, in addition to nonfiction writing exercises, we've been working on nut graphs and leads and kickers and doing article critiques. Um, next fall, she is set to go off to the University of Indiana where she's interested in majoring in policy analysis. Hi, so our article's name is What Does It Mean That TikTok Users Are Getting Their News from the Platform? So, me and Lane are both really interested in arts and culture and technology. I know more about TikTok and she knows more about Twitter. And like we want to see the connection between news and social media. Um, we also want to gain like practical experience and, and interviewing professionals and learning more about journalism as a whole. Um, so today we both want to tell you a little bit about our, how our article, which we ended up titling, What Does It Mean That TikTok Users Are Getting Their News From The Platform Came Together. Going into working on this together, I was really eager to learn more about TikTok from Shreya, who knows so much about the platform, as well as from the Gen Zers that she was going to interview about how TikTok makes the news both really entertaining and informational. Meanwhile, I also wanted to show her the ropes of how to write a sort of longer feature like this that involves getting quotes from multiple sources and weaving them all together. We wanted to get both anecdotal evidence from Gen Zers and a millennial who use TikTok in this way, as well as research and fact-based evidence. So I ended up going out to a media literacy organization called Media Matters and doing an email interview with researcher Olivia Little to get some more stats and research into the article. Hi, so I really enjoyed writing this article with Lane. One of my favorite parts about writing this article was learning how to incorporate quotes in the article itself. I feel like interviewing and like writing and choosing quotes is one of the most difficult things to do when you're writing an article. And so it was interesting to find a balance in choosing which quotes best suited the article itself. An issue that my friend Amy points to is how social media is an echo chamber. And we reflected on, on this by saying that the app's algorithm picks on your specific taste and what topics you may interact with the most. And because of this, news you get is chosen specifically for you, not completely, not completely diversifying the opinions you interact with, potentially preventing a more comprehensive overview of the situation. One of our biggest takeaways from this article was the importance of fact-checking. We learned that social media has many positives, such as um, accessibility when it comes to the news. However, there's also many downfalls. Many content creators do not fact-check their own content, so it's important that we do that ourselves and we're more conscious of it.